Hello everyone, in our previous video we started our discussion about, reasons why motors fail. The first reason was problem related to bearings issues, and it is the reason of 51% of total motor failures. If you didn't watch the video, you can press here. 16% of motor failures are related to stator winding. Reasons why 16% of motors fail due to stator winding failure. 1. Overheating The cooler the motor operates, the longer its expected lifetime. So, try to keep your motors cool as possible. We can say that each 10 degrees Celsius reduction, in the motor operating temperature, it's typically doubles the motor's lifetime. Excessive starts are the major cause of overheating. Normally during startup the motor typically draws between 6 to 8 times its rated current. This increases the thermal status of the motor and increases the thermal stress on the windings and can be a cause of failure. PTC thermistors are a common protection method, used to protect your motors against overheating. Thermistors have a positive temperature coefficient, meaning that the resistance is increasing rapidly, around the trip temperature. Connected to a thermistor relay this will trip preventing overheating. Normal operating conditions will not cause this to happen. How could I know, if the windings on a motor are under thermal stress? Look for darkened areas on the motor windings, these marks are signs of overheating. Reason number two is Overloading, motor windings failure, could be caused by overloading at the motor shaft which causes excessive heat buildup and failure. Thermal thermistor is a good protection to guard against failure. A thermal overload relay is a common protection method, used to protect against overload. It is a bimetallic strip that bends when overloaded due to heat buildup. Normal operating currents will not cause this to happen. So, what are the required steps to protect your motor winding? 1. Connect thermistors to a thermistor relay in the motor control package. 2. Set the current overload limits to the rating plate full load current. 3. Follow manufacturer manuals for correct installation, and limits for your motor. Still our discussion about reasons why motors fail is not finished yet, please wait for our coming video. Don't forget to like the video, and to support us please share.